I made a promise to myself that I would explore more of my home country this year. I was stoked when Canon reached out to me with a trip to the Isle of Skye in Scotland to test out their new vlogging camera, the G7X Mark III. All right, day one in the ice sky. Before our adventure starts, planning is a must. Before any trip, I always plan where I'm going, what sunrise spots and sunset spots we're gonna be hitting up and tracking the weather. The weather in the Isle of Skye is known to be just crazy. Like it changes every second. So the clouds are coming. So we might be seeing some moody edits on this vlog, but we're gonna be using Google Maps and Google Weather and just a bunch of other weather tracking apps to just kind of plan smartly where we're gonna be going and pinpoint the exact best location we can to shoot sunrises and sunsets. So before anything starts, let's get planning and start the adventure. All right, our sunrise spot for today is gonna to be Kerrang. We got here around 3.15 and we've just been waiting it out to be honest. The clouds are coming in, so hopefully it won't be blocking the sun. But it's time to head up and see if the clouds are going to be covering our view. The conditions are crazy! <laughs> All we have to do is now just wait for some golden light and it is the perfect combination with sunlight and fog. So the best option is right now, get the G7X's internal time-lapse feature and just get this cloud rolling in a time-lapse, which is going to look amazing. And let's get this sunrise. Alright, another location gonna be added to the list and that is Kilt Rock. Key and I just got here pretty late to be honest. We were planning to get here quite early so we missed all the crowds. But we're here at about 11.30 so it's a bit busy. But we're gonna get a different perspective. A lot of people just go to the kind of viewpoint and look over to the waterfall and it's kind of a simple shot, right? Yeah, it's not that great. Keenan's friend told us that there's a gully which leads all the way down and we found that right now. Uh, it's a bit off the beaten track, but we get a whole new perspective of the waterfall by heading down and just seeing what we can get down there. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's, it looks pretty sketchy to be honest, but let's, go. let's do it. All right, so we made it at the bottom of the waterfall. It looks absolutely incredible. Like it's a whole new different perspective from down here. It took a bit of time, but Key and I were definitely happy when we saw it. So I guess we're gonna get some wide shots using the 1635, just to get establishing shots first, and then we're gonna get into the more kind of closer up shots using the 2470. Another note, I love that the G7X Mark III has a built-in mic jack, so I can plug in just my professional mics, the Rode mic, Sennheiser. I've got the Canon DM-E1 mic on with a dead cat, so it's getting rid of all of the wind noise as well. It's blocking out all of the wind hitting me right now that you can't hear. And especially background noise of the waterfall. Just using a professional mic just really increases the production value and uh, it really helps when I'm editing in post-production. No background noise and I can just be reassured that I'm getting clean audio for the vlog. So I guess on that note, let's get the drone up, the B-roll rolling and see what we can get here. All right, so we're quickly mixing it up. We've got Keenan in his orange jacket. A quick top tip is just always bring something brightly colored that contrasts quite nicely with what you're shooting. So we've got dark rocks. So orange really is like the opposite of that. It really stands out and it really makes your colors and your video pop. 
um, especially using drone shots you can just pinpoint where Keenan is so yeah we're gonna get some photos and just get some drone shots and then time to head up to the next location Alright, so the time has come. Keen and I have woke up around 2 a.m. to come for sunrise to the old man store, one of the most famous and iconic spots in the Art of Sky. And it's a bit cloudy, which we weren't expecting, but we're about to start the hike. It's around a 45 minute hike up. And uh, I just always wanted to go to this place. It's one of the few spots in the UK that I just really wanted to see. Uh, hoping that we get some sort of light. If not, it's going to be amazing nonetheless because visibility looks good. You want to see the ridges and the, the stone coming up. And uh, I guess it's time to do this hike and see Old Man Store. So let's head up and give it a go. <sighs> oh, bad. We made it. It looks absolutely unreal though. Whew. I'm actually knackered. Best view from Isle of Sky, I think. Definitely worth that hike coming up. So I guess we're just wait for the light. Well, regardless of the light, still. So. Regardless of the light, let's get these shots. Let's do it. Let's get it. <laughs> For the past few days, Key and I have been stuck inside just because of the bad weather. We've been facing really bad weather here, editing away. But today, on our last day we're here, we've come to Nice Point and we've been blessed with absolutely just a clear horizon. So you know what that means, we're gonna get a guaranteed bit of golden light hitting the famous Nice Point and setting up a time lapse on the G7X Mark III. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how I'm gonna do that and just get ready for that golden light. Okay, so we're using the Joby as a tripod, super versatile uh, travel tripod. So you can just put it on anything, like we've got these rocks here and it's super stable. So it's my go-to travel tripod to use at the moment. And we've got the G7X Mark III on the top. So in the menu, we've got the interval time, we've got the movie record file, and we've got how long we actually want the time lapse to be. So it's all internally done, which is super easy. I just quick, it takes me around 10 seconds to set this up, which is such a game changer for me. I'm always wanting to get time lapses spontaneously, and this is a really good go-to setup to use. So the settings we're gonna be using are every six seconds, 300 shots, and that's gonna to equate to around a 12 second time lapse and it's gonna take around half an hour, but that's perfect for the sun to be setting. Definitely plan your time, that's when you're gonna actually set it up. We're gonna set the record file to 4K, which is just a game changer. Again, a 4K time lapse, so in post-production, I can kind of punch in, and it's just really versatile. So we're gonna click the shutter and get this time lapse rolling. What an end to the day. We got the golden light we've always been wanting. A three day trip, actually extended to... Seven day trip. Yeah, we extended the whole thing just to get the golden light. And yeah, it was definitely worth it. So I've had a lot of fun taking around the G7X Mark III. It's been an incredible kind of vlog camera and I will be using it going forward. And I guess 
That's it. We'll see you in the next vlog. Catch you later. Bye.